Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sierra McCray, and I am the SNAP Ed Nutrition Educator for the EBR East Feliciana Parish, representing Southern University Ag Center. And today's topic is jumpstarting your metabolism. So we're gonna hop right into a brief introduction about jumpstarting your metabolism or just boosting your metabolism in general. So boosting your metabolism is the holy grail of weight watching everywhere. Typically when you hear people say um, in regards to metabolism, you automatically go to weight, losing weight or even maintaining your weight. But it's also about how fast your body burns calories. Now, this can depend on several things. Um, it can be inherited depending on gender. So males versus females. Males typically um, are able to lose weight quicker than females, and also their metabolism rate is higher than females. Also, um, one thing that can be inherited is age. So depending on how young or old can depend on your meta metabolism rate, depending on how fast it is. By making your metabolism work for you, you can torch more calories all day long with a little less effort. So today, my job is to give some information, some tips on how to jumpstart your metabolism. So here's some grab facts. And when I say grab facts, I want you to take them with you, grab them, put them in your pocket, take them home with you, take them to work with you, and take them just when you're, whenever you're out in, um, out in the world. So first things first, what is metabolism? As I stated before, most people kind of relate metab metabolism with losing weight. And although that is sort of correct, the um, metabolism is also the chemical reaction in the body cells that changes food into energy. Keyword, energy, okay? So that energy is allowing you to uh, burn calories, which is allowing you to lose weight. So it is sort of coincided with losing weight, but we wanna focus on the word energy. Now, how does that work? After we eat the food, that the, the digestive system is building up body tissues and energy stores. So once again, that energy is stored upon when you are trying to boost your metabolism. It also is breaking down body tissues and energy stores to get more fuel for body functions. So when you are eating, of course, food is a natural source of energy. You are putting fuel into your body to even go work out or to even go run your daily errands. So now I am going to go along to some tips as to how you can boost your metabolism. My first tip is to sip, stay hydrated. My number one recommendation for staying hydrated is to drink water. Drinking water is the holy grails, the king and queen of remaining healthy. Guys, I cannot express that enough. If you want to remain healthy, drink water. Now let's be realistic. Some people just don't like water or they get bored with drinking water all day, every day. So I am here to give you another option as far as ways to boost your metabolism and staying hydrated. So the combination of caffeine and, ca and kitchens that, that's found in tea may boost your metabolism. Now, although we drink tea, uh, the tea can be filled with additive sugars. Make sure you're not adding any type of heavy added sugars because yes, Sugar can give us that rush that we need for the day of work, the day of school, but once it's gone, you crash pretty hard. So make sure that you are um, trying to drink the tea as natural as possible with no added sugars. And if you do add something, make sure that it's a natural sweetener. Another thing that can boost your meta metabolism in regards to staying hydrated is the caffeine in coffee. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and take it back to the same area and saying that don't add the heavy sugars, don't add all the additives the creamers into your coffee because yes, it's going to give you that boost. It's going to give you that rush. But once you crash, you crash pretty hard. So we want to focus and stay focused on our energy in regards to our metabolism. Um, one thing I would recommend as far as tea would be white tea and also ginger tea. In regards to the coffee, I would suggest black coffee. Now, the next tip I have for you is to turn your workouts up a notch. I am all about working out. I am all about staying healthy and staying strong and keeping that physical fit, uh, physique. But we have to make sure that we are also building muscle when in regards to metabolism. So for instance, I'm not saying go run a 5K in 10 minutes or go run a 15K or go uh, work out for a, a heavyweight championship. Don't do any of that. So if you feel like you want to go walk the lights, that's fine. Go walk, but add a, maybe a weighted vest. You can add some weights on your ankles, or you can even add a resistance band, a, a resistance bands above your knees. And this will help you build the muscle and it will help you burn the calories that you need, even when you're not moving as quickly as possible. 
The next thing I want to talk about is to eat more. Yep. Sierra, I said eat more. How you're a nutrition educator and you're telling people to eat more. Guys, crash diets don't work. They are not okay to do. That is a, this is a way to boost your metabolism by eating more, okay? If you take fewer ca uh, calories than your basal metabolic rate, then your metabolism will slow down as your body goes into survival mode. So your basal metabolic rate is the number of calories your body needs to accomplish its most basic life sustainability functions. So that's just like me breathing. That's what's going on. But if you don't eat, then your body is trying to fight and trying to see exactly where the food needs to be placed to get that energy you need to increase your, uh, your, um, your rate. And the next thing I want to talk about is to increase the protein. So there are certain types of food that can jumpstart your metabolism and protein is one of them. So that's your shellfish, your fish, your nuts and your seeds, your peanut butter, all those things can boost your metabolism. And the more calories you burn, the easier it is to maintain your weight and to get rid of that unwanted body fat. Now, the next slide I'm going to talk about is the foods, the type of foods that you can use in regards to boosting your metabolism. I want you guys to focus to that second to last row at the from the bottom where it says hot peppers. So hot peppers is the number one, my number one recommendation as far as to boosting your metabolism. There are a lot of fad diets or little things that you can do as far as like adding Kanye pepper into your drink or adding a teaspoon or tablespoon of Kanye pepper into certain things. So if you're cooking a pasta, if you're cooking a, a stir fry, if you're even making a salad, go ahead and uh, spice it up with some hot peppers because that is a good way to boost your metabolism. And all of these foods are iron, iron zinc, and selenium based foods, which are foods that boost your metabolism. Now to the fun part, I want to challenge you. Do you have what it takes, which I know you have what it takes, but do you really have what it takes? So my challenge to you is to set your alarm clocks at least 10 to 15 minutes earlier than usual that you wake up in time for work or just to run errands. And on this screen, you'll see that there are some workouts and it's 36 butt kits, 36 high knees, 35 jumping jacks, 16 sumo squats, 16 standing crunches, and 10 lunges. I am going to challenge you to do each of these workouts for 40 seconds. Now, you can take a little break. You can take about a 20 to 25 second break in between each workout. But guys, as I stated before, you have to challenge yourself. You have to build that muscle to boost your metabolism, okay? And these are ways that you can do it. And even in the morning times, make sure you're not skipping your breakfast because after you've worked out, you're going to want to eat. You're going to get that energy that your body needs to boost your metabolism. So once again, my name is Sierra McCray. I am the SNAP Ed Nutrition Educator for the EBR East Feliciana Parish, representing Southern University Ag Center. Please, 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 if you love me, do me a favor and go ahead and go to that post survey after this live, fill it out, tell me what you think, and it will be attached to the Facebook page. Once again, my name is Sierra McCray, nutritionally yours.